guys and welcome to my new video. This video is going to be a guide for soloing hard mode bandos. So in this section of the guide we are going to go over the inventory and the gear setup and then later on we will go over General Grado's attacks and the uh, rotation that you're going to want to be used to be killing it. So to start off with we're going to do a one hour trip um, at hard mode so we want to take two supreme overloads and two super prayer renewals. Uh, we also want to take an, uh, three Adrenaline Flasks, seven Super Restore Flasks, three Brews, Enhanced Excalibur, Runes to cast uh, Surge spells, so Air Runes, Chaos Runes, and Soul Runes to cast the Vulnerability spell. A Portent of Life and a Portent of I Item Protection are optional, and then just fill up the rest on food. As far as Familiars go, I would recommend taking probably for your first attempt a pack yak so that you have enough spare food to learn the rotation and then later kills I would recommend taking a DPS familiar so take an ice near hill to improve your accuracy. So moving on to the gear setup, the better gear you can get uh, obviously it's going to make it easier for you. Now I think at the moment Tectonic is actually cheaper than using Ver Virtus so definitely going to get want to get yourself a set of Tectonic. Um, the Virtus boots and the Virtus gloves. Um, I would highly recommend using the ring, ring of Vigor, it's not worth using a ring switch at this boss. And then what you absolutely must have uh, to make this much less painful is an arcane blood necklace or any blood necklace. This is going to heal you a lot at the God Wars bosses uh, or any of the God Wars bosses but in particular this one it's very useful. So yeah if you haven't done the dungeoneering use a fury blood necklace but if you have then make sure you use an arcane blood necklace. Um, as far as auras go you can either take penance and then you can just get rid of all of these restore flasks and just take food instead you can use vampirism or the best aura to use is um, supreme runic accuracy or any of the runic accuracy auras as these will increase your magic accuracy and obviously the higher tier the better so in the next section we're going to go over general grado's attacks in hard mode okay so general grado in hard mode has three special attacks that he can do the first of these is where he'll say Gen uh, Grado Smash, and this is the most dangerous um, of his special attacks and can potentially KO you. So he will sort of do a quick succession of frenzied attacks that can hit uh, up to sort of 2.5k damage uh, and total well up to 5k damage easily. And then what he'll do is um, cause rocks to fall from the ceiling for about 5 to 6 seconds, um, and then these rocks. Uh, can spawn around you and they hit you for typeless damage so if you are uh, next to the rock it will hit you for say 700 damage and if you are directly underneath it will hit you for for example 1200 damage and there are multiple rocks around you so the best way to avoid these is to just visually sort of look on the ground and see where the rocks are going to fall and try and avoid them um, whilst doing damage to general grada now this attack is, attack is particularly dangerous because you can just stack hits on you so it's important to play it safe and just eat up if you, st if you start to take a lot of damage um, and there's just no point risking it. The good thing about this is though as you can see I hit really high, I hit an 8 and a 9k using wild magic so you're going to want to do a threshold, uh, a threshold uh, especially wild magic whilst it's in this phase because it takes more damage. The second special attack that Grado can use is the Grado Protect attack. Now this isn't a particularly a dangerous attack to yourself, but any damage that you inflict on the boss will be reflected back to you, so don't go using any threshold abilities on it. Um, if you have full adrenaline, all you can really do is wait until the boss comes out of this phase, but if you don't, then use a defensive ability such as Anticipation and Freedom. The final special attack that you can do is the Grado Mad attack. This is where he repeatedly punches in front of him in quick succession and can do upwards of like one or two thousand damage each hit. So, oh, but this is very easy to dodge. All you've got to do is move a few squares away, um, and you will not get hit by this attack. Okay, so the rotation is going to be the same for every single kill that you do. So you're going to want to start in the northwest corner with full adrenaline, and um, you're going to want to queue up the vulnerability spell on your action bar and then immediately click on Bandos as it spawned. This will cast the vulnerability spell and mean you'll do 10% more damage on the boss. You're then going to want to run back to the northwest corner and use Asphyxiate immediately. When your Asphyxiate finishes, you want to surge away from Bandos and use Combust. This is because it will chase after you and instantly do the double or the triple double damage. Sorry. And then you're going to want to go into your ultimate. Now we're going to use Metamorphosis, not Sunshine, because this means you have the ability to move around the room. So once you've metamorphosized, um, carry on using 
basic abilities to build up your adrenaline. If you can use an adrenaline pot, sip it now. Now what you want to do is allow Bandage to hit you a few times so that it does his first special attack. So one of the smash, uh, the smash, the mad, or the protection. Now hopefully he won't do the protection. If he does carry on building up your adrenaline, um, when he does his special attack, the first hit that you do to him normally gets cancelled. So you're going to want to wait until he, uh, you want to want to wait, wait one attack and then start attacking Bandos again. This is the point where you want to use wild magic and then he will come to attack you again. Carry on using your basic abilities and now when he gets to you, um, he can actually push you back a square which will cancel any damage over time um, abilities such as asphyxiate. So what you want to do is wait until he attacks you and then go into your asphyxiate so that it doesn't get cancelled. Once you have done this, you should have General Grad at pretty low health now, and to finish him off, you should run around the room using uh, Combust and also Magic Tendrils, and you should be able to finish off the kill. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope this guide has been informative and helped you kill Solo Band or oh, Solo Bandos Hard Mode. Um, if you did enjoy, please like the video and subscribe if you want to see some more, see and hear some more of me. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching and I wish you the best of luck in getting your Bandos pets if that's what you're after or if you're just after a little bit of fun.